Hi everybody, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am still a targeted individual. Thank you everybody who said a prayer for us, and, uh, you know, God works in mysterious ways. Uh, <coughs> unfortunately, <coughs> my father is not so mysterious, and, uh, you know, I, I'm such a fucking idiot. I'm so traumatized by this fucking thing. I can't see uh, diplomacy or the proper way to address, you know, this thing. It's like, out of all the insane issues in my mind, it's the most important. And, you know, I've been trying to find a place to live now for fucking four months. Five months or some shit without any real luck. Although, honestly, there's been, you know, the issue of trying to maximize our benefit from being here without paying because these people put me in fucking jail. They cost us several thousand dollars. They cost us two rooms we would have had rented. All this shit. Now we're going to court. Guy wants use and occupancy. He's claiming the apartment's twenty five hundred dollars a month. We know that's not true. Um, all kind of crap, but uh, it's an eviction notice. You know, he wants us out. He wants to rip the fucking building out and put in new everything and charge a fortune. Supposedly the building was sold. It's not showing up yet. Uh, Pete, we got to go to court on Friday. Three days, and Petra seems to think that. Somehow, they're going to allow us to tell them about all the torturous shit that they did to us, and that that's going to make a difference. And my take on it is, you know, alright, they did all this horrible stuff, judge is going to look at it, terrible, illegal, why didn't you go to the police, why didn't you file a blah 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 report, why, well we have a reason, we don't think the police help. And, you know, every time we've used them they've hurt us, and uh, nobody learns anything by going to jail. You know, it just gets worse. That's our theory. Uh, whatever. Okay, so they did all this horrible stuff, and we withstood it. Then, they realized what they were doing was wrong, and they did some not-so-horrible stuff. They left us alone for a few months to find a place. They offered us $2,000, which we couldn't take because we got no place to move to. Uh, they gave us power for a few months, you know. They're gonna, and the judge is going to go, okay, all this horrible stuff, made up for it, okay, it's time to go. And I, I don't know what Petra thinks, honestly, because every time I talk to her about this, she starts screaming at me. Then I'm putting my finger in the wound and blah, blah, that's all fine and dandy, you know? But if, if, if she and I can't talk rationally about a legal strategy, what we're going to say, what we're going to do, how we're going to respond, you know, if, if she can't overcome the objections that I can come up with that I know they're going to come up with in court, then what are we going to do? And I got this terrible fear I'm going to be standing there like an idiot, you know, uh, and they're going to say, you sit down and shut up, uh, and you have three days to get out, and then the marshal will come. And, you know, then it's an order to show cause, to get a couple more days, and, you know, we're not even packed. She wouldn't let me pack. She won't let me pack. You know, I wanted to take everything down, put it all in boxes, have it all ready to go. No, we're still living here. Why do that? We can pack in two days a day. Yeah, we can. If we're not sick, if we're not being zapped and destroyed and mutilated and... You know, high frequency, which they do. Oh, they turned down the torture for the time my father was here. So I actually looked okay, uh, you know. Uh, as soon as he got on the train, they turned it off. I thought my head was going to explode from the inside out. Literally, it felt like it was getting ready to... That, that was a new one. Um, the worst headache, the worst... Anyway... 
Um, so the, my father comes all the way from Massachusetts. He's 80-something years old, and he's sitting at Whole Foods, the loudest place you could possibly go. It's all wood. There's a thousand talking people in there. There's a, a light, a whole wall of lights that can change color to change the mood, and it's red the whole time, red. So everybody's like, blah, 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 blah. Every two minutes, somebody walks by. Can we sit here? Can we sit here? Can we sit here? No, I'm waiting for my son. No, I'm waiting for my son. No, I'm waiting for my son. So it takes me two hours, two and a half hours to get there. I'm like, Dad, I'll be there in an hour. Of course, I have no idea of you know, time. We've been doing this forever. My father knows I'm never going to get anywhere on time. So anyway, I rush. You know, I get on the train. The train takes two hours. It's the weekend. I don't know. They're stopping the train. i got to change three times. So we're in this loud place, and, you know, we get through the greetings and whatever. So what's going on? And and me, having just talked to a real estate agent who tells me, Oh, don't worry. If you can get your father to be a guarantor, I can take you around and get you a place. No problem. Get you right in. You'll pay the rent. you have your roommate. Everything will be fine. Da, 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 da. It's easy as that. So, I asked my father, he's like, what? Absolutely not. There's no freaking way I'm going to put my name on something, and, you know, I'm going to be dead in a few months, and your mother's going to get stuck with the bill, and blah, 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 and you're unreliable. We can't count on you. You can't even get here on time. Da, 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 on and on and on and on. So then I start flipping out. I'm like, look, why the fuck did you even come down here to see me? Why waste your time if you just want to have a fucking cup of coffee and... And tell me you're not going to help. I mean, I really thought that he was reaching out, you know, one last time to, to help. Help me get a place to live. So at least, you know, for once, for one period, a year, the lease, I would have a stable place with mail that I could get. So I could apply for disability and do the things that, you know, get the treatment and whatever. Set up the shit for... Uh, so... You know, I'm like, all right, you know, I got visions of homelessness and marshals and all my shit and whatever. And, and for some reason, I just can't let go of everything. Just say, fuck it. I'll be fine in the street in my shirt and my jacket and my bag and my this and my that. And you start living in the street and you realize how much shit you got to fucking carry with you just to have the shit you need for the day, let alone changing your fucking clothes or finding a place to take a shower or having a laptop or any other fucking shit. When I had a laptop, you know, when I was homeless, I had a laptop and fucking lugged it everywhere. Uh... Because I spent most of my time sitting in Starbucks, you know, there's that life, you know, but where do you fucking sleep and how do you, you know, it's a fucking nightmare. Anyway, I'm babbling. Uh, so, my father, we're talking, you know, I go through the whole crap, I'm sp I'm yelling, I'm spitting out all this shit about my adoption and the brainwashing and the... the hypnotic induction to do drugs and how that's separated and all this fucking shit and how I wished that, that you know, I'm trying to find out information and, you know, just, my father's, I don't know, man, the truth is he's done everything he could for me, you know, basically, they've, they've done so much for me, they've tried and tried and tried, my father, my mother is just sort of, I'm dead to her, even though she doesn't really admit it in her subconsciously I know she believes she wishes that she's probably not even aware of it herself but anyway so I'm telling him the story about how I've been looking for a place and what they want and the, the credit check and the background check and the you know the housing court check the fact that we're in housing court with this landlord now is gonna make it harder or impossible for us to get an apartment with anybody else I keep telling Petra that you know she doesn't seem to understand this shit, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's gonna... But, listen, we have an eviction notice. What do you think the result of going to court for a, a, a holdover eviction notice is? You're not gonna win. We don't have a fucking lease. We don't really have the right of succession, although we can claim it because we had a deep financial independence with the people that were here. You know? But... All in all, the landlord with his high-powered lawyer is going to, the judge is going to say, look at these poor people, you know, whatever, poor person's relief, you have this long to get out, you can go to a homeless shelter. I mean, 
I know that's what's gonna fucking happen. I know it. Even though I would love to think they're gonna say, okay, don't worry, we'll give you a lease. You can stay, you know, whatever, pay the back rent. This guy wants to rip this place out and, and get four roommates with good credit, all to pay a thousand bucks a month. That's what he's gonna do. Because that's what they're doing all up and down this fucking neighborhood. Now, Petra and I really better get off our fucking asses and hustle to find something now. I've been, you know, hustling, but not so much. And it's time to fucking hustle. And she's like, oh, it's all going to be, they're going to listen to us. And they're going to, you know, everything that was ever done to us and all the bad things in the toilet. I'm going to say, and, and I'm like, listen, they're going to take one look at that shit at you and say, I'm sorry, this is not relevant, sit down, shut up. Because they've done it to me before in court. I know. The only thing that is at issue is what's on the paper. And it's a holdover, so we don't even get to do a pro se answer to a holdover. It's not the same procedure as a non-payment, you know? I don't know whether you even have the right to trial in this case. It's, a, it's an expedited procedure, too. It's uh, 30 days. If you don't, if the case isn't resolved within 30 days or or two adjournments, whichever comes first, then, you know, it's a quick date calendar, short date calendar, not a long date calendar. And they want it resolved in a month. And if not, they're going to get a, a deposit for use in occupancy. And this guy's asking for thousands of dollars because he wants to screw us out of here. That's why he's paying the lawyer, you know? She doesn't seem to fully comprehend it. She wants to live in that little place where everything is wonderful and all I got to do is art and, and, you know, deal with the money and whatever and we get by, just squeak by. And she's very good at that, unfortunately. The other thing she's very good at, not unfortunately, is sometimes she has the right words and she says the right thing the right way and people listen to her, and they believe her. Um, however, in this case, you know, every time I try to even talk to her about this stuff, and she says, da 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 and I say, objection, and I give her the objection, she's like, rah, 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 and she's screaming at me. Like, if you can't even overcome my objection, how are you going to do it in the court with the judge? <laughs> you know? No one can bring all the pictures of all the horrible stuff that's not relevant. Just going to prove that you're crazy. Okay, maybe if you're crazy, they might give you a little bit of leeway to get out, but not if you're not disabled crazy. And we're not yet, because they won't give it to me, even though I've tried four times. I'm clearly disabled. You know, you look in the blue book of disability under anxiety disorder, panic attack, PC, PTSD, I have all of the things, that, plus I have attention deficit and hepatitis C and God knows what else, you know, I, I pass the disability quotient test according to that blue book that the state of New York puts out. It's just a matter of getting a doctor who's kind enough to say it, because most of them don't want to say so-and-so can't work. I don't know why. Maybe because they're all part of this thing. Good question. I mean, it's clear. You just talk to me. I, You know, it's clear I got some problems now. I may be rational. I may be fairly lucid. You know, I may be higher functioning. But it doesn't mean I deal well with anything in